Hello, hello, everybody. Sorry, I'm going to have to eat while I video. Um, so, so far, I have done my one-hour pre-chemo labs, and I just did my one-hour post-chemo labs. And then I have to be back upstairs in the next, like, 45 minutes to do my second hour, and then a third hour, and then a fourth, and then a fifth, a sixth, an eighth, and a tenth. So I went in this morning and got this put in so they can do all my lab draws off of that. So, and I had to fast. Well, every time I take my chemo, I have to fast for one hour, or no, like two hours pre chemo and one hour post chemo. So that means when I woke up this morning, no coffee, no nothing, no breakfast. I'm fine with no food. I need coffee. And of course you can't see it because I have my phone leaning up against it, but there's a Starbucks down here in the cafe. And so as soon as she did my one hour post chemo lab draw, I was like, okay, where can I get coffee? She was like, go down to the second floor, go to the park. And then as I got closer, it said the cafe in the park. So I got me a white chocolate mocha from Starbucks, which I don't like Starbucks, because it tastes like coffee. <laughs> but I just added all my creamer and Splenda to it, so now it tastes like creamer and Splenda. But I did get a piece of red velvet cake, so. Breakfast of champions. Um. Oh. I just got so nauseous. Hmm. But, um, <clears throat> anyways, yeah, so today's going to be a long, long, long day. So, um, I did just speak to a woman upstairs, though, that I met. I'm getting cold, y'all. Um,. that um, is from the area that I'm from. She was like, do you live here in Houston? I was like, no, I'm from the Dallas-Fort Worth area. She was like, me too. She was like, I'm from Denton. And so I was living in Dallas, but now I live in Burleson. So, but uh, anyways, yeah, so, but, so it's definitely gonna be a very long day today. to be exhausted by the time by the time today's over but luckily not too exhausted that I won't be able to drive home tomorrow I've got the room through the 26th if I need it but I'm hoping to be able to drive home tomorrow check out before noon and then get on the road and get home get home to my bed to my room to my kitties to my mommy <laughs> but um yeah, so that's pretty much that. But like I said, I just wanted to basically get on and kind of update y'all. Oh, just don't feel good all of a sudden. So, 9.30, it's 10.45 now, so 9.30 was my first official dose of chemo. So, so far, so good. Although, when, when I talked to my doctor the other day, he, um, I just don't feel good, y'all. <laughs> but, uh, anyways, when I talked to, um, to my doctor the other day, he said, yeah, he said the first couple of days, maybe the first week, he was like, you um, probably won't feel anything. <clears throat> and he was like, but by the time you come see me in like four or five, five weeks, he was like, you're probably definitely going to feel it and not feel that great. And I was like, um, I'm thinking, I'm thinking in my head, isn't the reason that, that I'm doing this because these, this chemo is supposed to not have a lot of side effects, but, um, oh, well, it is what it is. So like I said, you know, even if the side effects are bad, I'll still hang in there as long as I can. So, and I told him I'll tap out when I can't take any more. But, 
Um, anyways, uh, yeah, so that's that for now. But so I just wanted to just get on and update y'all. Um, I'm going to try to finish the rest of my red velvet cake and definitely my coffee, but I just start not feeling good. Real, like it literally was fine when I started the video, and now I just, I'm starting to feel funky. Like, I don't know. My words, is it my word, words are starting to mess up. But when you, I don't, I mean, it, it does this sometimes anyway, and it's part of having a, brain tumor, but it's weird that it just kicked in all, all of a sudden like this, so, I mean, it does it out of the blue, but I don't, I don't know why now. Anyways, but I'm good either way, so I'll be fine. <laughs> trying to keep that light out of the way, but anyways, so yeah, so, um, but like I said, I'll keep you updated today and let you know how everything's doing and going. I still got a bunch of phone calls to make. Need to try to move some appointments around and things like that. But I will, um, oh, that hurt. I will definitely be back um, here in a little while. Like I said, I got to have to be back upstairs. Well, now it's almost 10 50 and I've got to be back up at 11:30 for another blood draw so um but yeah so that's that but um anyways but I love you guys oh and I totally forgot I just now now realized what day is it what day is it it's hump day I don't know all these people are walking around behind me going where is that crazy lady talking about <laughs> so but um anyways yeah it's hump day so wednesday oh starbucks making a lot of noise dang anyway so yeah so enjoy your hump day <laughs> hump day so but um and i will be back guys so love y'all